Honorable Senators, yesterday on the eve of World Oceans Day, I jumped out of bed at 4 a.m. so I could be out at the Arisag Wharf to go lobster fishing with my good friends, Megan and Sean McGinnis and Sean's Uncle Bernard on the Carrie Ann. Nova Scotia is known as Canada's ocean playground and the moniker is an appropriate one. Have you ever driven or cycled Cape Breton Island, Unamagi's scenic Cabot Trail, gone swimming in the balmy St. George's Bay waters at Pomket Beach, enjoyed the Stan Rogers Festival enveloped in mist rolling in off the Canso coast, visited the lighthouse at Peggy's Cove, explored Joggin's fossil cliffs, surfed the waves at Lawrencetown, toured the Blue Nose in Lunenburg, gone whale washing from Briar Island or hiked Cape Split, to see the highest tides in the world roiling below in the Bay of Fundy. Nova Scotia is the perfect place to celebrate World Oceans Day. Colleagues, the North Atlantic is rich in so many ways. It is the most intense carbon sink on the planet. And for many Nova Scotians, it is their workplace. Colleagues, lobster is Canada's most valuable fishery. Last year, the value of Canada's lobster exports exceeded $3.2 billion, the best year ever. In Nova Scotia, there are thousands employed in the industry and many more dependent on the income. Yesterday morning, I had the honor of experiencing firsthand the daily rhythm of the lobster fishery. As I turned off Highway 245 at St. Margaret of Scotland's Church and headed down to join the McGuinnesses on the Cary Ann, the sun was rising behind the Arisag Lighthouse in the direction of Malignant Cove. The wharf was bustling with action as people prepared their boats with bins to store fresh lobster and fish bait to replenish the traps. Like a well-conducted orchestra, the fleet motored out to harvest the lobsters from their traps and bait and drop them again for the next day. Our crew worked steadily and with great attention to safety and conservation. When we returned to shore, Bo and Indy, two of Megan and Sean's four little boys, were there to greet the boat, just as Sean had done at that age, with his late father, Stephen McGinnis, a well-respected local lobster and tuna fisherman. Colleagues, on this World Oceans Day 2022, let's celebrate these fishers, the McGinnis family and others, and let's recognize the ocean as a generous provider of life, food, and livelihood and as an important sustainer of families, traditions, communities, our economy, and our planet. Happy World Oceans Day, colleagues. Joyeuse Journée Mondiale de l'Océan. Merci.